Hi everyone, welcome back to Doll and Twink. Remember to stream She's Such a Bitch by Mirage and don't listen to Dark Lady by Cher, period. Oh, oh. well my song of the week <laughs> is Dark Lady by Cher because it's actually a really good song. It is a good song. But San Mirage. We are yeah. here to review episode, episode four. Which episode? Four! You have to insert that into the video. I'll find you it. You have yeah. to. This week was RDR Live, and on the runway, it was share, bitch. I guess we should just start mm -hmm. from the beginning. The girls come back into the workroom. Hershey has gone home as our first Elim. They sit on the Plain couch, said, don't they? I yeah. don't like anything you've ever done to Amanda. Yeah, they get a little into it again because of what happened on tech. It's so clear to me that, like, and I think Bob the Drag Queen has said it, you can tell she either wants to be a villain or the producers are making her say this. No, I mean, we talked about it last episode. Like, no matter what, it is, like, forced. Even if she wants to be the villain, like, it does feel like either producers are telling her or she is just telling herself to say these things. Because it comes, Which it doesn't like, come off as, like... <laughs> like, I think it's good. To, it's turning into really good TV. Like, the fight with her and Amanda, like, that shit I lived. Um, yeah, but, but it if does she feel is like forced. this outside of the show, like she's not gonna get booked. No one's gonna want to be in her in the like backstage getting ready if she's just constantly a bitch. Yeah, that's true. I will say though, she will get put on all stars if she doesn't win. True. And if they put her on all stars, put her with Mr. Jezebel Brooks because I would love no, to put see her how her with that Amanda. turns out. Put her with Amanda. We'll bring Amanda back and then bring <laughs> Mistress and bring Lux. Like I want to see that all together. And bring Lucy. And bring Lucy. <laughs> Playing with Lucy, could you imagine? Oh, Q was plucked that they did not win. And we have a prediction that Q well, will be the potential Jan or... The potential Lucy. Lucy. I, well, Lucy won challenges. I don't think they're going to give Q oh. a win. I, I think, think she'll get one win. After, no, after her being like, I was so close again. Rue, just give me my win. I don't think they're going to get their wins now. The production sees that it's getting to her. So they're they're going to like intentionally do it more to like not give her win. Because it will fair. make This her could pressed. be her like start of the downfall where it's like, like I already feel like this episode, we almost got a face crack on the runway. Like when Plasma, spoiler alert to the winner, when Plasma won, she was like, like she's this close already. And we're on episode four. Yeah. Like, I saw a crack. clip of like Lucy with Jan's face over it, and they had like the same smile. It was like, please, you're. And they both did the same like head, and, like, and they walked off when they yeah. were saved. Yeah, and I love that. Oh, Geneva did not think she should have been in the bottom, and I don't think she was like safe, but I didn't think she should have been in the bottom either. I thought she was the low queen. Um, did you? You think... said Maya should have been. Bottom, I thought right? Maya should have been in the bottom too. Instead I can of go either or with them. Geneva. I thought Geneva's overall... I thought her designed look was a little better. I don't think they're great by any means, either of them. But for me, like, Maya's... I feel like Maya missed the mark on a little bit of, like, the... Like, the, um, what's it called? They had the the nursery, nursery rhyme one. I feel like that was just a pageant gown. Like, it That's wasn't fair, yeah. camp. So, like, I feel like at least Geneva was bringing, like, an overall decent better package and that's why i thought geneva should have been safe instead of maya um i, I still think geneva should have been at the bottom but just low not bottom two mm -hmm. so that's fair yeah well we're gonna try to breeze over this challenge because it was let's just say dog shit um yeah you can get, you have more opinions about these challenges than i do if it was filmed like during start. the writer's strike and it's very clear there are literally repeats of the same characters from All Stars 8 that was with um Jessica Wilde and Jimbo. Jimbo. And I don't like barely anyone was funny. The funniest people to me were Safira. If I had to go like one, two, three, Plasma, Safira, and Nokia. Yeah, I thought Q them as a wasn't group, funny to I me. I thought them I thought Q missed so many things that she could have done. I don't like when someone does like someone a Someone on Twitter said that she should have threw herself into the scene. And I thought that would yeah, have been or hilarious. Just like, and I don't know why her her stick was just like, first of all, this face. And then just like, hello, <laughs> I'm the brick. Like, what? Okay, like we're sure. not on a fucking cartoon show. Yeah, like, for me, I had, I know you have a lot of opinions about like these kinds of just challenges. But for me, like, this is the first episode of the season where the judging felt very off. Like, that, 
I Ew. thought Sephira, Nymphia, and Plasma were going to be, like, top as a group. Because I thought they all had really good runways as well. And then mm. I thought... I thought even Maya could have been in the top. For her to be low... I ju- I thought Maya gagged. was in the top. Yeah. Like, her she runway was... wasn't that, like, amazing. But she was the funniest one to me in the challenge. Actually, yeah. I'll change it. It was Plasma, Maya, Sephira. Yeah, I would have agreed with that 100%. Like, in terms of funniest in that challenge. Yeah, like, I don't think Plain wasn't funny. But I think she had the... Um, it was... I just don't... She I, had I didn't the laugh disadvantage the... of, like, sh- they put her in the same role of what Jimbo did. And it was yeah, the and same like, scene, even. Shit. Um, Like, I'm going to ignore the fact that it's RuPaul's Drag Race and just say, like, those jokes... I never laughed at Jimbo and Jessica. Maybe I I Jessica think, Moore in the first time. I don't really remember that challenge, really. I only remembered that one I don't scene. like these challenges. <laughs> so maybe I did laugh. I hate the acting challenges so um, much. And, like, I don't think Plain did bad. And I don't... I thought she was fine for a top placement. I knew she wasn't going to win because I, I, I think we all knew Plasma was going to win the episode. But yeah. for me, when they were saying, like, Plain's character had depth, and wasn't one note, but, but then didn't. Maya's wasn't. That felt so off to me because for also me, like I don't think felt more any character note. had no like, Dawn. I don't remember Dawn. I no. don't remember Tsunamis. I don't remember the like, like no, no none, none of them had. De- them, I don't know what storyline they're yeah thinking. for them to say that Maya needed a story arc. Girl, who else gave a story arc? No one. No, it was dumb. It was the judging this episode was so whack and weird. I think the winner should have won. I think that's good. The, the that's right fair, winner yeah. won. Um, we'll get into the bottom two in a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll just say, like, as a general, like, I've we've seen this challenge where, like, Katya, who was Princess Diana in All Stars 2, yeah. was it? That was a musical, She was though, not. Wasn't she it? was, she was, yeah, it was a musical. Never going to win, no matter yeah. how good she was, because her one shtick was putting a middle finger to the judges. Yeah, true. Of course, DRT talks about it from the top for that. Like, of course, yeah, Alexa. Yeah, that's the thing I have with a lot of these acting... I like when the queens decide what they do. Because cause when the production gives them scripts, it's very obvious the good roles versus the bad roles. And the bad roles. Yeah. And sometimes the queens can't see that. was always going to win with Black China. Exactly. Like, Black China was a winning role. Um, yeah. Like, it's just... Obviously, there's some roles that the queens can probably like, make better, even if they're meant to be a bad role. But not everyone can do that. And I think it's more well, when fair it's, when the girls write themselves. Yeah, when you can't do your own script. Like, that's why that... Oh, my light already went off. What the fuck? When your acting role... um, What was it? In season 14? Where they get to, like, do their own... They, what like, fully wrote it themselves. was that? Because you were bringing that up to me yesterday. Was it Daytona Wind? It was the was one it... where Deja literally... I remember Deja went, like, to someone um and she was like i was born at a very young age <laughs> and <gasps> wait was that the one where they did like the in the workroom yeah that was yeah i remember that that was really funny and they wrote it themselves yeah that and was, that's why it worked that was really good i agree um but yeah i just don't like any of these i think it's always unfair because even the queens know like they can tell which one's a good role now yeah they even said on this show like Dorji was never gonna win with whoever that girl was i forgot who she was impersonating stevie nicks it was yeah it was always ben who was gonna win yeah that's fair and that's my opinion on those challenges yeah that's fair um yeah i don't really want to say plasma did great i did think there was like funny moments i thought it started out funnier and it got progressively like kind of bad and then ended good with like plasma's it was, group maya made me laugh boring why is rupaul dancing for three oh, minutes we did it boring. oh my god i forgot about that and th- there was no point. I there was physic like literally no point to it. No, can we talk about the RuPaul thing? Because she looked great. I was so high when we were watching that that when it ended, I forgot that it happened. And then when someone brought it up on Twitter, I was like, "Wait, that did happen." It felt like a fever dream. I'm like, what did it like, do? It was so. I think RuPaul just wanted to have an intermission, but all Whatever. it did for me was I forgot we were even in the challenge. Yeah, like it made the challenge like because so, it wasn't just. Like a quick little minute insert. It was like a full song insert. RuPaul did yeah, like it was a like full three, minutes, three long. minute song. I was like, oh, we it don't get the longer li- than some of We don't get queens, the lip sync like... cut. We get the full three. <laughs> like, um, yeah. But yeah, that was so random. I thought Ru looked great. I loved the outfits, and the dancers looked yummy. 
But I was and like, great. I was like, what is this? I was like, this is so weird. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be SNL. It can just be the funny part of SNL. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't love this challenge. Um, that being said, safe queens were called. Oh, wait, let's, let's do runways first. Then we'll just talk about the, the tops and bottoms. Mm-hmm. All right. So we'll start off on. It's not an order but it's just what we have on yeah. here so Sophia Cristal yeah also uh we're gooning or are you gonna use these screenshots or are you gonna use the yeah. ones okay our looks are uh, they were they, they were credited last week in the episode but I want to give them a little shout out for getting these up early drag dot looks on Instagram thank you so much for providing this to us because it's great because we get to see the specific look and the reference so thank you mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Sophia Cristal is up first in this blue share moment this is great yeah this is like this is perfect and i i love that she i bet she like knew she was like my name is safira and she wore a blue outfit i'm gonna do this blue look i didn't even think about it i love it no it's like so clever um no she looks great i love this and i love that she revealed the feathers too like she took that off too yeah i love that she like did it she added i don't know if Cher ever wore that in the beginning um i think she did i just don't think they showed it because i think i saw it on twitter okay so Okay. Either way, loved it. No, great. This is a goon. Oh, I goon. Yeah, I do want to say I also have a problem. <laughs> I'm a, I'm such a hater. I don't really like a thousand nights of things because yeah. it is purely based on how good of an alpha you choose, which I'm gonna talk about. Some of these choices were stupid, <laughs> and how well you can recreate the outfit. Yeah, I. That is it. I think it's fun. It's but fun. Yeah. I I don't like. I don't know if it's the girls sometimes or if production gives them these because sometimes they choose production or the girls. I don't know who is doing it. They do sometimes. They choose, choose yeah. like the most random fuck ass outfits from like a random red carpet or like a random like party. And I'm like, where mm-hmm. are you getting this fucking outfit? Like where yeah, I know a for... show or like something cool. I know for like the redemption runways on All Stars 3. Yeah. Um, production shows. Choose. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they would get to choose these ones. Hopefully. Um, and also, I would love to see if they're gonna keep doing the Knights of a Thousand. I would love to see them do like designer, like Knights of a Thousand Mugler, Knights of a Thousand. That's um, more interesting. Iris to Van Herpen, like I want to see Vivian West, Viv- like Vivian Westwood, Knight this of a Thousand Melinda, Vivian Westwood inspired <laughs> Knight of a Thousand Melindas. Exactly. No, oh. I think we could hang up this era of like. Inspired by people, let's do designers. Let's give the design designers their cred. Yeah, and then invite the designer. Yeah. Okay, next up was Q. Did you say Iris Van Herpen, by the way? I yeah. Forgot. I did. Yeah, I Iris. would love to see that. I would love to see an Iris Van Herpen runway. There's a lot of other designers mm-hmm. too, but those are just the ones that came off to me on the top of my head. Yeah. Um, Q. I thought Q love. looked great. It was beautiful. It was a really good recreation too. Mm-hmm. I love the dress. Um, are you a fan when queens... I'm not saying Q did, but, like, I don't think anyone did, actually. When they try to look like Cher? I don't think she did. Like, makeup-wise? Um, um no, because, like, personally, for me, with this runway, I know the judges like to see, like, an exact recreation sometimes. I prefer when the queens put their own little spin on it. And yeah, we do too. see that, I think, with a couple of these. Um, I prefer when they bring, it's like share meets Q, for example. I want it to like yeah. marry the two together and like be their drag mixed with share. I don't think the judges necessarily want that all the time, but that's what I like. So, yeah, I think it's worked some in the past. I forgot who though, but yeah, this was good. No, I, it was a goon. Um, next up was next plain. Up plain Jane. This is my favorite look. Also of the night. amazing. Favorite look of the night. Really? She looked so fucking good. Like I don't know. This, I think this was the outfit. I, okay, I don't know if it's favorite look of the night. I just re- remember having a really good reaction when she came out on the runway. She, for mm. me, like this is the outfit I have been waiting for. Like she's been talking all this shit. She came out in this, and I was like, "Yep." Mm-hmm. She just looks no, love. good. Like it looks so beautiful. Like this my- is this is a goon. My only critique is, I wish the hair in the front was longer, because the hair in the back was way longer. Because the stands are gonna come for you. I don't fucking care. <laughs> um, no, and also I will say too. I think another reason I really like this one is because I love this share outfit. 
it is one that I always think about in the back of my head. Like it's sounded like my... you said, I love this shit outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this share. Share. Um this is one of my favorite share looks like ever. So I was just really glad someone did it on the runway. So Yeah, it was good. And it was really good too. We gooned. It was a goon. Okay, next up is Plasma. I thought she looked good. It's not an exact it's a little more like interpreted. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think she looks bad. I thought she looked beautiful. No, she looks, yeah, she looks good. Uh, once again, like, I think it's when the hair is on drag queens, you can't be like, I will say not this everyone... photo on the bottom, right? It, it has to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> also though, not everyone can wear a, a slick bust down pussy. I know pants. I couldn't either. Like, I that's thought, what I'm saying. At least for me, planes bust down was on giving the, a the, little more. This one, yeah. I was like, ooh, girl, can we get some bigger hair I mean, on there? It's just from far away, it's like, it's a little, you might be bald. What also know? doesn't help, too, in this photo that I'm looking at, she has a black behind her. You can't see the fucking hair. True. Yeah. Like, it blends in because it's so flat already. So. It just needs a little more volume. Just a little bit. Yeah. For me, this is like, we don't have an in between, right? You said you don't like those. It's it's a goon. I would give it a goon. It's a safe goon. It's yeah. a safe goon. It's a it's a high safe. Mhm. Mm high safe. High so. safe. Okay. Next up is Mar Mirage. Oh my god! Why did I choke up there? <laughs> <laughs> now you crying. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. Oh no! She looked so good. I really Fuck like the this, judges yeah. and their stupid hair critique. Fuck the yeah, judges. What's your opinion on like? I think the I've, bang, I've gone through so many Twitter threads already. I like, will say, I think arguing. the bang is a little too long. But also, there's other bitches on this runway that did not do the exact hair. And to me, it's like, I, I think someone said it best. This hairstyle, what did they say? It was invented in the 60s, but it feels more... Is, set, or is what she, it, I forgot what they so, said. This feels more 60s when it should have been 70s. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is 70s share. Someone's going to coming me for being wrong i don't because i don't know my share lore but the no hair part. is like 60s the girl is 70 but also like, like just because it was 60s hair someone on twitter was saying just because it's 60s hair doesn't mean they didn't wear this in the fucking 70s no so what's the issue also she and looks also, like, good i'm just gonna say it mirage probably look would probably look worse if it was just that regular hair yeah i like, don't think I that regular this... hair looks good on most drag also, queens also <laughs> mirage loves a cunty like ponytail moment like what is the problem with that no, I thought, besides the fucking hair, this outfit is beautiful. Also, it wore beautifully in, spoiler alert, the lip sync. Like, it moved this whole episode beautiful. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know why I keep saying that. But it moved beautifully in the lip sync. Like, it was so mm. well done, and it was just so pretty. Like, I love this outfit. I do think the bang could have been a bit shorter, but besides that, like, I loved this. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. I gooned. I gooned. Next I up, we have Lavender. Maya. And I'm sorry for me. Why would you choose this? This isn't one of the ones I'm like. One, why did she choose this, or why did producer choose it? But then also, two, it's not even the same outfit from the photo they showed. No, like this could Lady Gaga could have worn this too. Yeah, like also though. Also, this I don't is, like that. it's a boring for outfit. me. Like we've seen this on Drag Race in like the share musical. We've literally seen like this kind of exact bodysuit leather jacket moment. Why would you not yeah. want to do something bigger? Is my question. Or something it's that hasn't a gone shown. For me. This is a gone. Like it's not bad, but it's boring. Like it's so yeah. boring. Geneva Cars next. This is a goon. I really liked this. I thought it was fun. A fun choice. Would I wear it? No. <laughs> but it looks good on her, and that's what matters. So, yeah, and I loved, I loved her makeup tonight too. There's something about her makeup their... that was really pretty. She did say she wore more blush because Cher had a lot of blush in that photo. I loved and it. I liked, I, I loved like the that. blush. It was so pretty. I will say I agree with that critique about the torso, whatever was going on there. Yeah. I don't really care. It doesn't do. It's still a goon, mm -hmm. but I do agree with that ju judging. Yeah. All right. Next page, we have Nivea Wind. Yeah, for me, this is another one where, like, if you're going to call out one girl on the hair, you got to call the other girl out on the hair. Because this is not the original hair that Cher wore with mm -hmm. this outfit. That being said, 
it's a beautiful outfit. She did it better than Cher, I'd say. 100%. 100%. Love the details of this. I loved the headpiece. Um, I love that. I don't think Cher had the cape thing originally, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. It works for this. Mm -hmm. And we do want to say, um, some people are saying that she is cultural appropriating and we are not Egyptian, if you didn't notice. So I'll just say this is just my stance on like if I saw Plain Jane doing Taiwanese theater, I would probably say I. But it's always up to someone if you can if you are from that culture and you can feel its appreciation or appropriation, that's on you to the side. Yeah, I definitely I'm just here looking at the outfit and it's a good outfit. Yeah, I think you cover that really well. I think it really comes down to does it feel like appreciation or appropriation? And it's and obviously another... up to interpretation by each person. Yeah, and another thing, this goes for I'm not defending Nymphia here, but a lot of people, this cultural appropriation is mainly an issue on the West. Mm -hmm. When you talk about this in China, they are are always confused. They're like, why would you be offended? Like, I've had this conversation with my parents so many times. And it's specifically because we are a melting pot over here. And historically, culture has been taken away, you could say. It's Mm -hmm. been colonized, so it's very important to some of us. Or I guess it should be important to all of us. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like if you ask an Egyptian who lives in Egypt, they'll probably just say it's appreciation and they won't recognize how it could be appropriation. But yeah, if you feel like it's appropriation, it's also valid. So, I yeah, also want to add, I do. I feel like I've seen this a lot with like stuff in the past, not even with Drag Race, but like it's like. There's always this, like, weird witch hunt to, like, find someone that's, like, appropriating or, like, I mean, with, like, the Asian fishing thing on TikTok, too. And when you look mm. at the people that are, like, looking and trying to call out it's always white people. And for me, yeah. it seems, like, overcompensating or, like, something to bring attention to someone else when it's, like, if you're white and you're not a part of that culture, like, I don't feel like you should be speaking at the forefront of this. Like, someone yeah. else... And this has happened many times on um, Drag Race already. Like, uh, like Raja's done it mm-hmm. with... Raja did a share look. Yeah. Um, and it happens every time also there's a share runway. Monet did it. Anytime yeah. anything share <laughs> happens, it's it was all... <laughs> brought up. So... I don't even think Nymphia thought about no. the potentials of appropriation because she, she's not an american she was born in taiwan so it's like a different it's a different idea Mm -hmm. of what appropriation means yeah like from west to east and not defending her i'm just saying yeah and another thing to add too is it didn't feel and it doesn't feel like mocking in any sort of way so but like we said we just want to give our other way it's a good look it's up to you to determine how you feel but we like the look Mm -hmm. so next up a mandatory eating, my mother. See, this is a look that she is so fucking unserious for choosing this Cher doll. I lived. Like, I lived, yeah. Choosing, like, it's creative. A premiere it's look. Out of the box. And not this. The other girls are stupid. This is so fucking camp. I live. I thought she looked good. The, the, the titty loofah was area, a little. <laughs> yeah, the titty area looks a little weirdly fitted. And then. The shawl is very loofah when it looks like it should be, like, faux fur. Um, mm-hmm. And then if I really want to get into it, too, the hair is a little out-of-the-bag synthetic. Listen, <laughs> she probably couldn't afford ostrich, and that's my mother. I will defend her. Yeah, I mean, but... She probably couldn't afford the original fabric that shared the doll is wearing, because that shit I mean, was But that being very said... Good. She looked really good, and every episode she looks better and she better. She looks better, yeah. And I'm kind of so like, I gooned. I know, wait, what's your opinion? Because I think we they talked about this in the episode. What's your opinion on girls that go to Drag Race and they are evolving as they are on Drag Race versus the girls that are polished the entire way through? Do you think you need to be polished and no? Okay, because I don't think so either. Bob I think, was not the best at makeup. No, I think you should have a lot of high things and be strong in certain like challenges yeah. for like things like, um, but I don't think you have to be like the most polished version of yourself. Yeah. Like, because you're always evolving to say that you're let's like, complete is weird. Let's say like, uh, 
let's take Aquaria, for example. She her storyline came off as very cold hearted. Yeah. And people didn't understand her. And then you, you got to understand her. Yeah. So to me, it's like because it's a drag race and it's a competition. If you can show it a tremendous amount of growth to prove you're winner worthy, I think that is more impressive than someone who's polished all the way through. Because the to be able to grow that much within the competition, I think is a lot of time. I also actually. think it's more relatable to the uh, the viewer as well. Yeah, if you can craft that story, work like, because one well, also I'm like for that. to be polished the entire way through and not have any faults. Like for me, that's not realistic. And you like to say that you're going to be like that after Drag Race is not true either because like you're always evolving and growing as an artist as a yeah. drag performer. Like so, I don't know. I think there is a place for our um. Mother. Not so polished debuzz. Um, I just had to think of a way to word that. Um yeah, and I don't I don't like how people now like expect perfection when you first no. walk into the run. No. Like that's why I lived for Amanda with the terrible titty plate. Like Oh, that course. titty plate needs to go in the trash, I will say. I love it. Same like, with Safira's Fisher Price titty plate. That can also Please. go in the trash. <laughs> um but yeah, I thought this was like a safe goon. Because I think she looked yeah, good, love. and I love seeing her development, so. I love, like, ju- I'm just saying, like, if she were to, and I don't think it's going to happen, but if she were to somehow start to win three challenges in a row, that's all I need to show that you are winner-worthy. Yeah, I mean, also, like. And if her, like, finale was, like, goop, like, Also, uh, too, amazing. like, look back at, like, Jinx Monsoon, one of, like, the most, yeah. like, iconic queens from the show. I mean, we've been rewatching season five with our friend. Jinx is not that polished on the runway. But she serves it in so many of the challenges. And that's what matters. Also, and now looks, she looks great. Rarely, looks rarely determine your win. I think they did more in Plasma. the, in the uh, back. Oh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm saying it just wasn't the best, but. I thought she looked good. Damn. No, um, yeah. I'm just I saying it's like not the best. Looks used to determine more back in the day than they do now, which is like seems kind of yeah. dumb because I feel like the girls are spending more money now. That's why I, I actually think that it shouldn't matter as much as the challenge because yeah i think i don't want be like i don't want your win to be because you have a good i think depending on the challenge it should be like 70 percent challenge 30 percent runway unless it's a design challenge Mm -hmm. or a ball then obviously the runways are the main focal point so yeah and zero percent mini challenge that shit's stupid i'm glad they got rid of that yeah mini challenge (laughs) they used to talk about it yeah sometimes they talk about the photo shoot but but yeah Mm -hmm. this is a safe goon oh next up this shit ate. She chewed. This, this actually, this is c- contender for my top of the week. Um, I'll agree, yeah. This was a good runway. I thought there was a lot of really high runways this week. Like, even yeah, the I girls think, that like, I, like, know didn't live for, like, this, these girls did not come to play with runway. They mm. said, we got, we got the looks. No, like, I loved this. This is another, like, yeah, iconic I the share wings. moment. The wings are, like, spot on recreations, too. Yeah, I'd love to know, like, how she made them. I don't think she made them. No, I know, but, like, who made them? And <laughs> yeah, how? no, I'd love, I'd love to know, to know the well. process. No, they're, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. This is a high goon for me. I gooned, I gooned. Yeah, I think, but I don't, I'm, I'm trying to remember the rest of the runways, but I think right now it's between her and Plain for me. For And I also like, like that it's, she's not wearing tights that don't match. It's just her leg that's oiled oh. up. Sorry, Nymphia. Nymphia's match very close. Oh, wait, like, Nymphia's didn't match? I didn't clock that. No, they match almost identical. It's just when you can see that your upper torso is shiny and then your bottom torso isn't shiny, mm. it's just like... Mm, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, don't wear tower tights. But if they're going to pad, I guess, then I understand. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Zunami is a high goon for me. Mm-hmm. Um, next up is Morphine. It's another great one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also... She is becoming the meme queen of the season and the confessional queen her of the season. Face. Her, her, face. Be, her her getting a crying at it every fucking episode, perfection. I hope we yeah. continue to get one every episode. She should have been like Alexis Michelle and brought that. I don't know what is Cher holding an Oscar or a Grammy. Either way, Gra- whatever she's holding. Award, yeah. Yeah. Whatever award, I think it would have been even cooler if she brought that. Yeah, this is another one too. Um I just love. It's gorgeous. She looks beautiful in it as well. Yeah, yeah. goon. 
Another one, too, where the hair does not match exactly, but it still looks good. Because it's dragged up. Mm Mm-hmm. Because, I'm sorry, if she wore that exact chair with the same ratio, she would look... It would look weird, especially with her makeup. (laughs) With her makeup, too. It it wouldn't... Like, it's proportionizing. Yeah. Okay, and then finally, we have... this, yeah. Oh no, we have two There's more. There's two more. There's two more. Please. <laughs> Sorry, I my face didn't show another person. Um, we have Dawn. We have Dawn, and Dawn interpreted this in this colors because there's technically never been an image of this outfit in color. This is another smart one. I feel like to take something that's black and white because you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want. Do you like Maybe this? I'm. I don't really. Li- I like the outfit, but I don't really like it for this runway. Do you not like the hair? I'm not like. Can she about hair, rock but... this the flat bust down that we keep talking about this episode? I'm not offended by it, but like I don't. I, think I don't think it works with, with her. I don't think it works with her makeup. I think she should have done something like, higher with a bang. Yeah. I will say, I think it would have been more like, I would have gagged if she came out somehow in all black and white. Oh, that would have been so cool! I didn't even think of like, that. I like. I would just say like, if I saw this photo, I would say like. Why would I do it in color when I can actually be black and white, like the photo? Yeah, that would have been really That's cool. That's iconic. Honestly, she kind of could have done it as well because, like, only thing showing is her, like, neck and face and then her hands. Yeah, just get, like, gray fur and yeah. then paint yourself gray. Yeah, that could have been really cool. There's not even much to paint. Honestly, like, it's just your arms and then the face. that could have been really cool. Now that I'm, like, hearing you talk about that, I'm like, oh, I see. I see your point. I do yeah. still really like and this I, look, though. I do like the look. I, like... I think it's just the, I've never seen a puffer like that before. Well, because it's not really a puffer. It's like a faux fur puffer. Yeah. Well, like, I just mean, like, the zipper on the side. I may even just not a fan of it because I would have preferred more puff from the fur. Yeah. Yeah, hers needed a little bit more poofiness, I feel like. but I still Or like just, like, it. a huge-ass fucking trench coat that turned into a gown. That could be cool. Which would have been very expensive, but I would have yeah. got yeah, I would give this is a this is a goon for me. I don't know if I can goon it. <gasps> no. I'm oh. Sorry. I actually think she sh- should have been low instead of Mayo. Dawn should have been low. Instead of Maya, Maya was funny. No, you should have said Mirage. I don't know. I think they put Mirage in the bottom too, just because she said an untucked. I don't know the words. Okay, but. <laughs> Stop, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, Wait, this, is a, might this is a I honestly me. might have put Dawn I thought in the... Dawn did fine in the challenge. I think you're being stupid. I don't remember a single thing she said, though. She was the news anchor with Amanda. Yeah, what was funny? Well, though? then Amanda should have been the bottom, too, because I don't remember Amanda either. I like Amanda's mm. look more, though. Hers is more busted. Oop. Are we oh, gonna get into works. it now? Mama? I just know Ru. I think. I mean, I. I personally think if RuPaul was there, she would have probably said the hair doesn't match, the makeup doesn't match, the photo like it doesn't match the photo. Like she could have easily said that. They could justify a top and bottom placement for anyone because that's how TV works. No, I know. Bestie. I don't know. This is a this is a good for me. I understand your opinion. I'm just a little gagged because I didn't know you. I didn't know you felt this way about this look. I didn't think I would. I just thought. Well, I love that you're being honest. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love Dawn. Like, she's yeah. my fan favorite. Yeah, Dawn is great. No, I like this look. It's a goon. And finally, we have Megami. And Eureka this is... <laughs> huh? Eureka O'Hara's look. <sighs> no, it literally is. Do you like this oh, one or Eureka's challenge. more? I don't remember Eureka's as I much. I feel like I like this one more. I, I, like, this I like is another look. example it's definitely... of... definitely... A, a recreation. This is another example of like the same as like Maya, where it's a bodysuit, and we've seen this look on Drag Race. I think it's a better bodysuit than Maya's. Yeah, and it's a better recreation. I just still think if this has been shown on Drag Race, why don't would you do wear it again? It? Yeah, like we've had a lot of share like references, runway moments, like. Also, I really, I really wish someone would have done like white liner and then like spiky bottom lashes, cause that's what like that's what I think of Cher makeup. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I still gooned. I think it's a safe I'm... goon just because like it does look good, but we have seen it, and that's what like makes me not want to like it anymore. I think it's just I. Did, I will did you see because it's like... what she posted on Twitter? 
Yeah. The thing with Mistress of she's, the Brooks. Of, if y'all don't follow Megami, you she's need to a follow mean fucking Megami. Queen she's on Twitter. so funny. So funny. Yeah. Um. Someone told me my look today that I posted should have been what Megami did. <laughs> and then I was like, because she didn't, like, this was the art worth protecting. <laughs> Oh, bitches are shady. It's a meme. Like, she made a great meme. Like, no, I, I want to buy the t-shirt. Quote. And then I'm going to put... There's a I'm t-shirt? Gonna put, yeah, she made a... Um, the t-shirt of her doing this. Yeah, it's a t-shirt, and it has her on it, and it has a blank sign. You can put whatever you want, and I think I want to put a picture oh. of you on it. I love that. <laughs> like, protect Is it like, twink. wait, so, like, it's just, it's just blank here, and you can So, put yeah, it's, like, her from the episode holding a sign, and it says protect, and then it's just a blank, like, white spot. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I think that's fucking hilarious. The amount of people yeah, that are gonna great. buy it though and just write buttholes or twinks, like it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. No, I think it'd be Thank funny you, if we bought one and we put each other's faces on them. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. <laughs> I might buy it then. Yeah. No, that would be so funny. Okay, who are your top two runways of the week? Hershey. Who? And... Girl, she went home. Oh my god! Oh my god! Tsunami. What? <laughs> that's a t- that's a real. That's a TikTok. Oh, you got guys. <gasps> and Safira. Tsunami and Safira. Okay, yeah. mine. I as I think Safira is amazing. For me, that was giving. What was what? What was it when Georges was high and she fully Monet. said like Monique. Yeah, my name Monique. Yeah. Um. For me, I love Safira's. I'm very sorry, but. For me, Tsunami and Plane were two of my favorite share outfits, and they just looked so good. So I'm going to give it to Tsunami and Plane. Work. Um, and now we'll get into the tops and the bottoms. So Safe Queens are called, and left on the stage is Maya, Geneva, Mirage, Safira, Q, and Plane. Yeah, Maya should not have been there. Yeah. Maya should have been there for being high, if anything. Yeah, I was, like, shocked that she was not... Like when they when they when they call the tops and bottoms, I was like, oh my god, Maya's in the top, yes! Yo. And then I was like, oh. I, was like, I don't know why okay. they don't like her. I don't know what story they're trying to do with her. They're because they're clearly trying something. Well, and they're like saving her too, so that's what I'm confused. Like, what are you getting? Because they know that she's gonna be fierce in the lip sync. Yeah. But like, it's like, what is this storyline that they're trying to do? So I don't know. Breaking down her psyche. No, literally. Um. <laughs> So yeah, Maya has that funny share Kermit moment. Um, oh, great. this is the thing. Yeah. Um, for Mirage's bottom placement, I personally think if if I was a judge, I would I think I could show a little humanness and empathy and say you were alone during this challenge. Yeah. You literally had to host by yourself. I thought she was gonna. I be don't safe. think a, I don't think a host has ever won. Mm-hmm. And, I'll, like, I'm not trying to say, like, give her a pass, but, like, don't do, don't write that script because it's destined to fail. Also, too, it's, like, her first time in the bottom when, for me, it was, like, I was, like, oh, it's, like, clear as day, like, based off of, like, Drag Race and production, I really thought when they called the bottoms, I was, like, oh, okay, Mirage is low, this is their, like, her warning, and she's gonna give her, give them a warning, and Maya, since this is her, like, almost second time, this is her second time low, and then Geneva's, like, second time in the bottom, that they're going to be the bottom two. I just don't think I was production shocked. thought people would like Mirage. Well. They didn't like her in the first episode now, either. She was fourth. And now they won't get a track at the end of the season with a banger verse from Mirage that gets over a million um, listens on Spotify. And they will continue yeah. to flop. Mm-hmm. Anyways, fuck this show. Fuck this show. Um, That's another thing. It's like, we always complain, but we're still going to keep watching, and they're not going to change. Oh, you think I'm going to keep watching? This is the last Dawn Twink episode about the um, po- oh. the show. We're done here. Oh. Sorry, just kidding. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really plucked, though. I am in this... I'll get into it, actually. Like, Do you have anything else to say about the lows? Before we get into the tops? No. Okay, so yeah, the tops, plain, Q, and Safira. We already kind of went over Q and plain. They were fine for me. Like, there was other 
people. Oh wait, Sephira. Wait, 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 wait. Sephira is not on the top. It's plasma. Yeah. Um. Also, I can tell they want plane. They want us to like plane. It's very clear. I liked her more this episode. I'm liking her more each episode goes on. No, yeah. Is I just she don't forcing think... a villain at it? Probably, but... I just don't think they need to uplift that challenge so much because Megami, like, did the same thing for I sure, also, and I didn't live for both. I just think it's so hypocritical for them to say, like, Maya was one note and then be like, Plain, we loved you in the challenge. Yeah. Like, girl, at least, at least be consistent so you can't be called out like this. Like... Um, yeah, I thought Plane and Q were fine. I feel like they could have just put all of Plasma's group on the top, and then it would have been, like, more fairly judged. Um, mm. that being said, Q and Plane did have really good runways. Um. No, they're great. But other people had good runways, too. But yeah, Plasma. Oh, can we talk about her little monologue moment about, um. Judy Garland. Was it Judy Garland? Oh, wait, no, she did Judy Garland for the ball. It was... Mm, Q did Judy okay. Garland, first of all. Get your, get your Please! Genre straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Plasma was talking... Uh, Barbara Streisand. There. Yep. Get your the old people right. Come for us. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Come for about... us? I'm the one that's getting it right. <laughs> um. Well, we should probably get to the lip sync. Because that is a topic that people are talking about. Um. No... Plasma's little monologue moment where they had to like speed up and edit it of her just like continue. I love when they do shit like that on TV. I thought it was so fucking funny. That was great. And this was her episode. I just think it's also crazy that she wouldn't want to do that sh- do a role that she was going to excel at. I, I don't know what she's maybe because she's afraid that they're going to box her in, and I'm like, it's, see, you've already but for been me, boxed in. you've already boxed yourself in because you talk about being a fucking. Um, you said New York, a New York, and then you said theater, theater girl every episode, <laughs> but then also. It's only been four episodes. Do what you're well at and then switch it up. Like That's yeah, the first acting challenge, too. Like, what? Why would you want to, like, be spooky ooky? I will like, say she's not different. beating the Jinx Monsoon comparisons because she did the same movements oh, that was in the Snatch Game. 100%. Either way, I still lived, but... Yeah. No, I thought Plasma was great. She was definitely the winner. Um, yeah, she deserved it. Do we want to move on to the lip sync? Do you want to move? <laughs> um, I will start by saying, um, I have never cried at an elimination before on Drag Race. I have never been so emotionally distraught over an elimination like I have this one. Maybe I might cry if Amanda goes home. Like I, I thought Valentina was amazing, but for me, she didn't turn the lip sync. So I was like, oh, girl, bye. For me, I. Yeah. Did not realize at first Mirage didn't know the words. I was like, she's staying. And also, I just, like, love Mirage. For her to go home absolutely gutted me. Gutted me, bitch. Um, Also, I will say, so watching it high, I didn't realize she didn't know the words. And then watching it again, I watched it yesterday... She knew some of the words. For Michelle to say not a single word. Michelle, you have a sweet, sweet, sweet chair in hell for you for that comment. Yeah, I don't know what possesses her. I'm assuming because I know production gives them lines to say. Don't say that. So maybe they just kept that one. I fucking No, but like, I don't agree. I'm like, I'm like, why would you say it? Like, Mm -mm. you, you can't just like, why would you do that to a queen? Like, you're it's so no. sick and twisted it was like so absolutely this rotted. show does not like care about the queen's no. health or like mentality like, just because they They're got just them here queen to make care. stupid tv just because they got them fucking queen care i don't give a fuck like for michelle no. to say that i know mirage heard that because michelle's like, always so like oh we loved you so much in the like on the what you're packing like what they did it with she did it with dusty mm-hmm. it's all two-faced and i'm like you're annoying yeah um that being said Geneva did do a great lip sync. I'm not going to hear... I'm not going to be here to slander Geneva. Geneva knew the words. She knew all the words. Mm-hmm. That's what's important. Did Mish- Demarage turn out a sickening Pop performance her for us? <laughs> yes. And I was yeah, living the, the entire time. The heel clack that was synced with the beat of so the other good. claps in the song. It, so it, like, good. And like... I also, that little that spin, me, like, when I was talking about her outfit, that little spin at the start, that spin was like, oh, she's taking it. Yeah. Like, it was just beautiful. Like, 
the way she moves is so insane and for her to go i mean she'll be booked for life and i'm so happy yeah and she showed she showed more than enough to make sure she is like i hope she continues to make music because we will all be listening We'll all be listening. I hope she's on. Uh, I hope she's on the Vegas. Oh, like, they're definitely the gonna girls. get her on the Vegas. One. I know she lives in Vegas. Already, yeah, so. she lives in Vegas. It, they'd be stupid not to get her on there. Um, yeah. That means, and she did deserve to go home, y'all. So yeah. That being said, I um did not say this on the life. podcast last week, but I have been talking about how I thought Mirage should have been in the bottom two because I wanted to see her lip sync. Mm-hmm. Never, I'm never saying that of a queen about a queen ever again. Ever again. Because I, I'm sorry, after the first episode, I was like, Mirage is going to send four girls home this season. Yeah. And I regret saying all I think that. you said on the pod, you're curious to see what Nymphia would do in a lip sync. Oh, is that what I said? You might have. And then I, I watched a lip sync performance later and I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, She'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gutted, uh, rotted. Fuck drag race. I'm still not done. I got more to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is so clear that drag race is not appealing to the large masses that is the younger generation because we want to see drag queens just perform and be themselves. We don't want to see how good you are at drag race and reality TV necessarily. Well, also too, like, like yes, we love shade. Yes, we love like yeah, but like some of us love the acting challenges but like at the end of the day that's what they're doing at their gigs yeah and also too like i'm sorry if a queen is turning it at a bar and they don't know all the fucking words i'm still tipping them because they're giving me a show yeah like i don't know and then also how do you feel about the she doesn't know the words to the song it's I'm sorry. I did not know. Who, I did not know who Cher was until I was like probably 18 years old because Cher had did, Cher's done nothing for my family. They don't even know who Cher is. One, I never listened to pop music until I was 16. Also, so like, what has fuck. she done recently <laughs> for the younger generation to know about her? I don't know. I don't keep up with her. I don't think I'm and not justifying. I like, think it's Cher slander, but I'm saying like not everyone is gonna oh, know. I... Everyone grows up in different situations. Also, you saying that by the way reminded me of Plastique Tiara being like, I don't know who Beyonce is. What has Beyonce done for her if she lives in like yeah exactly? Listen, if, she, if you literally don't know the culture, yeah, why would you be obligated to know? Well, and also too, it's like <laughs> not everyone grows up with the same like icons in their life or the same like shows. Like I didn't know um let me try to think there's one that i always think of. y'all could never know all those songs that mozart wrote <laughs> please um <laughs> that's my beyonce like i don't know like growing up like i didn't even know about like i didn't know about Cher until i was at least probably like 16 17 i think people don't understand that my first experience with Cher was burlesque like the movie i think i think i agree i've i've heard believe like probably since I was like twelve years old, because I was at gyms, just like in the nursery, and I heard it. Yeah, uh, that's a long story, but I don't recognize. Like I didn't even know "Shake It Off" was by Taylor Swift until I looked it up. I that's how much I didn't care about music as a kid, because I was yeah. only in no. Piano. As a kid, I did not, and I was also never the kid that was like, "Oh my god, are you listening to this person? Like they're amazing." Maybe now I'm like that because I'm like more into pop culture, but like as a kid, I did not give a fuck about music. And I also didn't care about the older shit. I only cared about the new stuff that was coming out. I think a lot of people... I I would say it's probably, like, older people or people who grew up with this music. Yeah. You have to understand there is a whole generation of people we lost who knew Cher. I'm talking about people who had AIDS Mm -hmm. and obviously were, like, queer as fuck. Mm Mm-hmm. So we don't have those people to teach us. Yeah, well, and Most of the time when you learn music, you're taught through your parents. That, exactly. what they listen to on the radio. Well, and that's another thing to keep in mind as well, is, like, not everyone growing up had a lot of, like... Had an iPod. Or, like, even just queer people around them to, like, educate them on, like, one queer yeah. icons or, like, queer, like, music icons. Um, when you live in, like, bumfuck Kansas, how are you gonna like, know? Because, like, my mom really likes Cher, but she wasn't talking about Cher when I was three years old. I fucking walk around in my fucking living room with a little, like, glass Cinderella slipper on. Like, no. No. So, I don't know. My parents only know Taylor Swift because of me. The discourse online to Mirage, like, not knowing the words, like, I think is, like, so stupid. I think it's dumb. 
Because also, yeah. I did not think... I think she didn't know she was going to be... I don't think she expected to be in the bottom, and I think it shook her up. I think so. she said that in the What's Your Packing. She didn't expect it. Yeah, well, and then also, um, I mean, she gave her... Also, like, she was really she, drunk, I think. She gave so. her this... Yeah, because she fucking chugged oh, that yeah. drink, but then she did give herself the sweet kiss of death by saying, I don't know the words. I She said it yeah, so many know. times in Untucked. Um, do you want to get into Keep Untucked that... briefly? Oh, I already forgot what happened. You have to um, so, I don't really remember the safe queens talking about much. Oh, I think, I want to say there was another thing about Amanda and Plain. I think Dawn brought it up, but I don't remember what it was. Um... But the specifically, I wanted to talk about. I loved the sisterhood that was going on this episode between oh, yeah, yeah. Amanda, Nymphia, and who else came up to Mirage. There was one other girl. I don't. I'm gonna assume morphine, but also I loved what Amanda said to Maya that she wrote in her journal. Yeah. No, this was just like, like... it just shows like, like that is the stuff I think most people want to see. It's like it's not about how much money you have and how great oh, I think of a it was Zunami. Can... I think Zunami yeah, went prob- up to... Probably. Um, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, it's just, I love that people are catching on that we want to see queens just show their human side. And yeah. like, for how short Mirage's storyline was, you could tell that she wasn't someone who was like, has all the designer money she wants, and she just wanted to be there to perform and show herself. Yeah, and I... I mean, I think it's very clear that she, like, really wanted to be there. I mean, as we saw with her elimination, like, she was, I think she fully had a panic attack. And I think in that situation, I think most people would, because, like, they spent all this money to be there. They probably, like, a lot of girls, a lot of girls are so stressed. They take out all these loans. They do all this shit to go home that early. Like, for them, it feels like a death sentence. Yeah, like, I know her. she sold her car and she stands by that statement, yeah. but, like, that, that shouldn't should not have to be, be the standard. a thing. No, like, like, that's insane. RuPaul, you have enough money to, pr- like, I appreciate RuPaul for what she did for drag, mm-hmm. but I would like to see Drag Race be more about, be less reality TV and more entertainment performance based. Well, yeah, because they, they, they will still have, like, an award winning show if Ru helps them out a little bit. Because yeah. they're still going to fight and have drama. Like, because even if they, they give the girls money. You put like, them next to each other, they'll fight. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just crazy to me, like, that you could, like, sit there and gut someone so hard. Like and, that. And, like, let them leave. Like, and then I also don't... to be, like, what did she say to Mirage? This is just the beginning. This I'm like, you, the beginning. there was, like. Girl, no the emotion behind there. No like, empathy. No nothing. love. Like it was so like, girl, get the fuck off the stage. Like that's what it was giving. And I know, she, I know, RuPaul loves to say you're one of our Ru girls now, but like, she means that as in you're one of my money makers. Yeah, because like, you have to show. go to Dracon after now. Well, and also too like, and when you when we call you back, you have to come. Yeah, and like you're promoting the show always, and if we call you back, like you have to say yes because that's how their contracts are now. And there's a good reason why a lot of drag queens don't want to be on Drag Race because they know that's the yeah. de- that's their sentence, and they yeah. want to just they want it to just be about their. Because also too, keep their like going on the show, sometimes you don't have full say of like what happens to your storyline or edits. I mean, a lot of the edits no. I do think are on the queens themselves, but like p- to prepare. But whenever all that stuff Geneva's for drag getting death sentences, home. Drag Race won't care. Yeah. Whenever they're telling Alexis Michelle to go home. And like to volunteer to go home, Drag Race never cared. And I'm not saying they're obligated to. Actually, maybe I will say they're obligated to, but they could do a little more about uplifting queens instead of can we get an Emmy? Yeah, I agree. Um, and that's what I have to say. Yeah. Because like I love Drag Race. Yeah, and I like drama and stuff, and I don't justify like any hate towards any divas. Like I may have queens I dislike um or have disliked but i'm not gonna like send them a nasty dm or like i would just say i'm curious to see how the next is it confirmed that the next all stars there's no eliminations all stars nine yeah um i believe so it's either that one or global all stars that has by the way i am very hopeful for that until like the final episodes yeah like let 
them show their whole package yeah. and everything they See, bought and, and not waste their money. For me, though, All Stars, like, I get it because they're probably spending more money because those girls make a fat check after the show usually. But also, like, I don't know, like, regular seasons, I just, I don't know. Something for me has to change with the regular seasons because it's getting yeah. so expensive that it doesn't feel fair for girls to go home after two episodes. Yeah, and for y'all to, if anyone says, like, money doesn't matter like it didn't matter back like yeah chi chi she did what she had to do but yeah they get like a month to prepare yeah like that is over not enough 20 time. looks minimum well and also too a lot of these girls like they apply and they have what they have in their bank account and then if they get accepted it's like where the fuck are they gonna pull that money from you know yeah thankfully there is a lot of girls and there's also a lot of drag race girls that have been on drag race that help their sisters and their family like i have a mutual on instagram mugs by chris they are like mutuals i think they're part of the same drag family as morphine like she did multiple wigs for morphine for this season Mm -hmm. and so obviously there's a lot of like sisterhood and family that goes into getting ready for their drag race package but also some of those girls don't have that some girls do not have family like drag family before the show and I'm, and I'm that's fine. Like it can't all be a fair game. Like no. obviously people with more connections yeah. will probably succeed, but the way to level it is to give a stipend. One hundred percent. It's pronounced stipend, right? Not stipend. No, it's stipend, yeah. Okay. I also think too, make it like a month and a and half. And enough make of the like acting two... challenges. Like I oh I know. It's like not like I think we have like what, twenty drag race girls who've been in movies and stuff. Around Acting is that, not, yeah. like, the forefront of the show. Like No. It's performance. It's There's art. maybe a couple girls that want to go into acting, but it's not, like, a majority of them, so... Yeah, it's Jinx Monsoon and all of her children. And Willem. <laughs> Willem did it before. I'll yeah, Willem was doing it before. She was first. already iconic. Um, But, like, I would love to see them talk about, like... I've always said, I love the idea of the talent show, but I want to see them give a full three minute. Let them do a full song. What yeah. like the challenge should be? What would you do in a drag club? That would be a Design great. Your stage. That would be a great way to word it. Like if you had yeah. the money, like this is what. Like what would you do for a gig? If you had, yeah, and they, say like five thousand dollars. They've kind of done that where it's like they let. I don't know when. Like, I know Alexis Mateo did it. It was All Stars Five. They had a lot of extra dancers. Yeah, they like, um, All Stars seasons more so have like more budget with the talent shows yeah. um but yeah and I, I would love to see like what would you do like how would you design uh, w- w- which season was it where they designed their own bars all stars four i love uh, i want to see that challenge again it was four but i think also another season did that as well five they did it five that yeah. one sucked though that was like a hotel like what <laughs> um yeah i also just think too like if you're not gonna give the girls a stipend like call them sooner give them like two two and a half months to get ready yeah because if they're sewing all their own shit, a month is not enough time. Not yeah, like I time. just want to see them perform their art. Oh, I have also would love them to have. You have one song. Everyone has to do the same song. For what? Be unique. Oh, for like the ch- a challenge. Like That's a, a challenge. Lip-sync You're challenge given this one song. Yeah and do something with it that's why i like that that will show you how unique they are that's why i like i um i really enjoy like the the design challenges that we've had where they give them two girls they give them the same materials and they have to do love that too love that kind of design challenge because it really shows you like what people can do and it shows you like creative versus maybe not so creative and i think it's a great way to put them against each other as well yeah where it's not as like bitchy it's more of like use your skills like use them well. Mm-hmm. Like good luck. So, do we have anything else we yeah, want like, to add I think, on? Um, in were. the words of Jasmine Masters, RuPaul's Drag Race has done fucked up drag. <laughs> um, what's next week? It was, oh, girl groups. Um, Plane versus Amanda. Oh, oh, the sequel. Yeah, I love the girl I group will, challenge. I will be, like... I will be sitting for the Plane versus Amanda. Yeah. I think someone else... I feel like there's going to be someone else that gets into it at some point. There has to be more than just playing Amanda. <laughs> like, I am... I'm, I'm going to guess it's Dawn. I am... Oh, Dawn, that's what it was in Untuck. Dawn fully went up and said, I actually want to bring up... Plain, you said earlier today that you hate Amanda, so what's up with that? No, I think... I, um, I don't want to think that Amanda is 
going home at any point because I love her. But if she does go home, I think Dawn is going to, like, become the next, like, maybe not, like, take my Amanda's place, but she's going to, like, come for plane or something like that. Like, I think, because yeah. I am patiently waiting for this, like, Dawn's a villain, like all the girls said. Either that was a ruse or it's going to happen. And I ideally mm-hmm. want to see... Ruse? Ruse what? A cracker. Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm excited. I'm I don't waiting. think she would flop into girl group because it's like she was. She's pretty well, good I also at dancing. Think too, I lyrics. think too as well. Like I'm pretty sure, like you could see her group. I'm pretty sure her group was like her, Nymphia, Amanda, and Safira. There's no way that mm. group is gonna flop. Yeah, I could be wrong. I think it was just like a brief image I saw on Twitter. I think the Nymphia one might be someone else. I don't remember. Who do you think is going to flop? In the girl give, group? Give, 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 give me three. Um, Probably Plasma. I don't feel like Plasma can do choreo. Um, Fair. I agree. Plasma. I don't. I think Maya will do well unless she's one of those dancers that, that can't like learn choreo. Um, I doubt who's she Who's going to flop? I, I... Oh, girl. I don't know. I might say Q. I feel like Amanda might Based be on her... Really? I don't think she's a dancer. I thought she was okay at dancing in her talent show. That's true, but can she learn choreo? Oh, no. oh I I don't think mm. Q is gonna do good. So I think Plasma will be I think Plasma Q and then I'm gonna say maybe Tsunami. Tsunami's either gonna really strive next week or she's gonna maybe be low. Cause yeah. I don't know if she I'm can hoping dance. she'll I'm hoping she'll do well. Me too. Tsunami is like one of my early like faves, so who do we think is going to win wow. next week? Do we think it's going to be a group win or like an individual win? I don't feel like they do group wins anymore. Well, the groups are in four. So that's a lot of people winning. Yeah, this early on. But unless they want to like spice it up and like get more wins out. Either. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be an individual win. Okay. Because there's 12 queens left. So there's three groups of four. Yeah. So that's a lot of wins for. Honestly, but, mm... I feel. It just depends. If they all honestly do well, like if everyone is equal, I, I can, can see understand. them winning. Yeah. If it just two depends on if they want better... to do that narrative of like tonight you'll be judged individually so they can like pluck from each group. Because yeah. they might pull a thing like that, you know, like to they could do something. Um, honestly, I feel like Safira is winning next week. I'm going to no, say it now. I think, she's gonna, I think she's going to win. I've watched her YouTube videos. She's really good. No, she's going to. Did you watch her music video? <laughs> For. Katya's in it. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch it then. Yeah, we'll watch it after this. It's so good. Okay, but yeah, I think yeah. I think Severa might take the win next week. That's I'm gonna. I support that. it. Yeah, I see that. She's just so polished, and I know she's gonna turn out a sickening dance. So, mm-hmm. are they doing verses or is it just dancing? Usually, girl groups I feel like have verses. They give them verses. But it's yeah. twelve queens. Well, they did it for the first. Ep- well, no, they didn't. They just split for with those. True. I guess we'll see. I think they I think they'll do their own. I don't want to see the fuck their like the writers. No. No, 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 no. I hope Never too. I fire them all. I'm praying since it's the US season, it's not the same song three times with different verses. Can we get different songs oh, yeah. for the girls, please, please? That was gross. Um <laughs> Candace Drag Race I'm talking to you about the finale, please. Hated that song. Um Writer Strike. Oh. Yep. You got anything else? To Pay add the writers well, please. Like, come we on. End off the episode. Stream. She's such a bitch. Yeah. Go follow Mariah. Is that the title? Yeah. That's she's name such a bitch. Song? Okay. Yeah. Stream. She's such a bitch. Go follow Mirage. Go follow Hershey. Go give them love. Book them. Also, a mandatory meeting. If you want to be on the podcast, we'd love to have you. <laughs> Putting it out and there on. now, bitch. Yeah. Any of the girls, honestly, but specifically Amanda, we'd love to talk to you. So. Yeah. Will work. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next week.